What's up everybody? Welcome to my new video. You know how we do it over here. We get to a certain point and then we start a new tutorial. So that's what we're doing it again. Starting a new tutorial. So I kind of found a way. I was, you know, Googling. And we, uh, we might be able to do C++ web scraping instead of Python. Which would really help because that's what I've been studying for the past few days and it'll make me better for the next class comp site too. Um, I was trying to find a way for the terminal to be inside of the Xcode editor but I haven't found a way just yet. I know it prints out but you can't like type stuff in the terminal in the command or whatever. So we'll just have it off the side right here. So we initialize it. So the directory already here. Web scraping. Um, I guess uh, yeah, just have this here, which... Oh, I should probably get into the directory in the terminal. Okay, how many... I'm wondering how many layers of web scraping there is, but for now, let's just do it like this. So we go in, we get into our folder. I don't know if it should be within, because we're going to start, start installing some stuff here. We're going to have two... So we're going to be using libxml, so vcp, I spent like 20 minutes installing this right here, this little command, install cpr, libxml, apparently we're installing both of them, two, uh, replace the triplet option with, so we'll do x64, OS X and oh we still do triplet I thought we just erase triplet completely no but we uh triplet and then 64 OS X the rest is good though right C package install CPR libxml there may or may not have been an error there was a bunch of red I didn't read it through, but let's see. Let's let's move on to the next step. Maybe I shouldn't, but it was installing CMake, which I don't know what CMake is. To build a C++ scraping script and complete uh, the project initialization process, you have to add CMake tools. Yeah, that's what it was doing here. I don't know if it did it in the wrong place though. Okay, it didn't install anything. I see that it's completely red. Okay, I'm sure it's not global, right? Or is it global? C++ cumbersome syntax and its limited web capabilities can present an obstacle. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's go a little bit more back. Let's go a little bit more back. We're going to have to read this tutorial from the beginning. So I did that, the path, okay. Um, you will learn to, you will learn how to code C++ Web Spider, okay. Connecting the home web, to the home web page, selecting HTML, HTML elements. Well, let me, before I go through all this, I think it's the correct one. You do libx, ooh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This this might not be the right one. Wait, hold on. It was... Ooh, it wasn't lib. No, my, it might not be this one. So I did all that for, for no reason. Yeah, no, it's not this one. It's a different one. It's not lib XML. It's a different one. That's crazy. Okay, I I, uh, I did all this for no reason. Uh, we're, we're done. The thing is, I updated um, I updated the browser and then it restarted and yeah, it restarted and it apparently deleted one of my tabs. I remember now. I had asked Chat GPT. That's who told me. No wonder there's no web. I asked Chat GPT. Here it is. Okay, we found it. There's no website. 
Is it possible to scrape web data with C++? Yes, and you use curl and gumbo. Okay. Okay, look. After all that I did, let me see if it still runs. We're just going to try a hello world. Let's see if it builds. It's there right now, but, you know, I'm, I'm rebuilding. Let's see if it does it again. Okay, build succeeded. And everything looks fine. Okay. Oh, well, it's rebuilding. I thought it was already. Sometimes there's no stop. Okay. All right. Using namespace. Because we don't want to use this. Uh, sometimes Some people recommend uh, using it. But just for simplicity's sake, we're not going to use it right now. And I can go. Let's keep it simple. We're not going to add all this here. We're just going to keep a simple main. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is... Uh, I'm just going to include curl. I don't know if that's standard or I have to download it. All right, it did appear on its own. Let's go ahead and run it. Build succeeded. Okay, so curl is a standard. Hey, hey fine by me, fine by me. Now gumbo. I've never heard of gumbo. Let's go ahead and try it out though. So just copy and paste in and gumbo. Gumbo.h. Gumbo. Wait, let me see if it automatically does it. I might have to download a file or two. Okay, it's not doing it automatically, which means it might not. Yep, it's not. Gumbo.h. So we might have to look that up. But. At least we have a way to do it. I'll still try running it, but you know, I might get some. Obviously, the error, it hasn't even ran and there's an error, so. Yeah, build failed. Okay, so now we install Gumbo. And here we have the Gumbo parser. This repository has been archived by the owner. Oh, it doesn't, it's now read only. Also, they don't use it anymore. They might have a new one. Who knows? Gumbo.h. I, I don't know. Maybe looking it up. This project has been unmaintained since 2016 and should not be used. Well, we're going to use it anyway. The original. Let's see. The original Gumbo. Is this Gumbo though? Does this have it? Why not just ask ChatGPT? We're already there, right? How to install Gumbo. Okay, so it's giving me a few ways to do it. Okay, so how to install Gumbo? Here we have, so for Linux, uh, for Mac OS. So we need to do this here. So curl, yeah. How do you do that? My question is, do you have to install it to the, to the, you know, to the folder or you just install it globally? I'm about to install it globally because I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I think I have brew, I'm not sure. Okay, apparently I don't have brew, so, or it's not updated. So it's not updated, one of those two. I'm gonna try pip gumbo parser. It should work, if it doesn't work, then we'll just, I guess we'll just keep trying different ways until one of them works. Okay, apparently I can't use, I can't use it like that, so we're gonna have to go, we're gonna have to go with this one. Okay then, we're going to end it right here. We got another error. We weren't able to install Homebrew. So, I'll try to take care of that outside of the video. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good ass day. Peace out.